Hi everyone, um, I am new to budgeting videos so please bear with me. Um, this is my very first video that I have recorded for cash stuffing. Um, I don't actually have any cash to stuff today but I thought I would go through um, my binders and I also have some happy mail that I want to put into some of my um, wallets. So I'm going to go through my binders. I've got one, two, three, four, five. I've got five binders. Um, and yeah, just basically waiting on payday and I could do a proper stuffing. So I got these um, trackers from Illuminel Designs on Etsy um, and they're really nice. I edged off, I rounded off the corners, just I, I prefer them, I like them like that. Um, so I got a Christmas one. Um, a car maintenance one, I got a dentist one uh, because I'm wanting to save up to have some cosmetic dentist work done and I got a car insurance one because I would like to gradually build up to be able to pay that um, for the year next year. Um, it's, it's due on I think the 2nd of February so I won't have time to pay it off for the year this year but um, I'd like to slowly save up for that for next year so I'm going to be putting them in the envelopes um, today. So the first envelope, um, this, sorry the first binder that I'll go through is my short term one. Um, I've been cash stuffing for over a year now maybe, um, maybe about 15 months um, and I absolutely love it and there has been a lot of trial and error with my binders and my wallets and I think there still will be but I'll go through what I have just now um, and just show you sort of what what I have. So um, in my short term binder this is all sort of stuff that I would be sort of dipping in and out of like I maybe put stuff in every month and um, it's, it's more sort of sinking funds rather than savings gold so i've got home bits so that's basically for anything in the house if i want anything like i don't know candles new lights curtains cushions that sort of thing Um, i have a clothing one as well so quite self-explanatory like if i need any clothes shoes anything like that and um, i also have like a little tracker sheet just to keep track of what's what Um, i have a gifting one which is for, I, I actually have a birthday, well, a birthday and an events binder that has um, everything throughout the year in it. So this is really just for um, if, if, if there's a birthday or an occasion at work or I want to gift something, that's what that's for. So that just keeps a little amount in it. Uh, I have a beauty fund, which uh, initially it was for beauty treatments, uh, hair appointments. I don't actually get my hair done a lot. I've got naturally curly hair um, and I, I like the length and stuff of my hair. So I don't usually get my hair done, but um, the intention of this one was for lashes or beauty treatments, that sort of thing. Um, but I think what I'm actually going to do with this one is change it maybe to hair and beauty and have it as more um of like if i'm needing a top up of like makeup or a luxury product or a beauty treatment or a hair appointment or something like that i quite like to get massages and stuff done but i've also just started experimenting with a slightly more expensive foundation uh, so it lasts nicer and looks better on my skin so that that would come out of this rather than my toiletries category which is in my purse um my fun money which is for I, I try to just put a little bit of into this every month again it, it's more of a put in and spend that month situation just now but i want to try and keep a little amount in here so it, if i want to go for a night out or go for a day out or go for a night away um yeah basically anything that's like fun that's not already been saved up for in advance. I have a health one, I need to put a, a vinyl on this. Um, slowly just put money in this. It's it's usually spent on supplements or things like that, like protein powders, um, 
multivitamins, that sort of thing. But again, I would like to build this up a little bit so I have a small amount, like if I wanted to go to the chiropractor or um, if I needed, I don't know, I don't know. Just I want to keep it built up a little bit just in case I, I need it for anything. Um, I have a hobbies one, which at the minute is empty. Um, I do have quite a few hobbies. I like to craft. I've got a Cricut machine. I like making these laminated pouches. Um, I also like to game. Um, I've recently started dipping into the world of embroidery. Um, yeah, stuff like that. So I would like to just have a small amount in here. So if I wanted to buy anything, try anything or... Um, get some new new items um i have a car fund which is for if i need anything for the car like window wipers um bulbs that sort of thing kind of like small car maintenance at the minute um my mot is due at the end of this month so I do have a separate MOT one in my annual binder, but recently I converted them both together after I paid for my MOT um, and saved up. I had to get some new tyres, so I've got a little bit of money left over. But yeah, this, this is kind of for anything that I need to buy for the car. Um, I have an events one, which again, I need to put some vinyl on. This is for ticket events, so like theatre, concerts um galas balls dances like that sort of thing anything like events that i want to go to um that's just a note for myself i bought tickets to go to see chris stapleton on my credit card which i'm really trying to stop using now um so this is just my little tick guide for paying that back and last in this one is tattoo which has been empty since i made it but um as you could probably tell, I've got some tattoos and I would like to add to them. So I would like to start putting, I think I've started a budget of maybe putting five pounds in here and um, just to very slowly build that up. So that's everything for the short term binder. Next up, we have my long term binder, which has got, I say, I guess, long term things in it. Um, like holidays, Christmas, emergency fund, that sort of thing. And I recently made myself these just to, oh, that one's come out, just to divide them up, basically. So that's, this is my short term section. You can see that, okay. Um, so I'm going to Palma on holiday with my mum in April. So I... I've already paid for the flight, so this is for spending money and paying for the hotel. So I have this nice little tracker. Um, I really can't remember where I got this from. I've had it for a little while. Um, but yeah, that's my little holiday tracker for that. And that's in short term just because the holiday is coming up. So I should say as well, um, this, this tracker is for £800. Um, which obviously before April, I'm not going to save £800. In my challenges binder, I do have a Sudoku roll or Sudoku save, I think it's called, um, which will be going towards it. So there'll be £405 coming from the Sudoku save when it's complete. And then the rest of it will I will save up between now and then. So that's that one. Um, I'm going on my friend's hen do in March, so that's just saving for that. We are away for a weekend and it's quite pricey. I've paid for the hotel. Um, I need to get trains, outfits. I'm still waiting to see what the activities are, so I might need to pay towards activities. And I'm kind of holding off on outfits just now because... We don't know what the activities are. I don't know if there's any themed um, costumes or anything like that. So just wait and see. Um, my friend's wedding, which will obviously follow the hen do. Um, Mid-term savings. So I have a trip fund, which I would like to keep an amount in this. 
basically I'm always wanting to go on spontaneous trips, weekends away, um, I want to do a lot of city breaks, little holidays, I would love to go on a solo holiday. So these are for more spontaneous trips rather than planned in advance trips, which I do have other envelopes for. So at the minute I have £100 in there. That's my only medium term one. Um, my long term section, um, I made one for my mum's 60th, which is in um, three years, I think. Yeah, three, three, three years or two and a half years, something like that. Um, there's nothing in this at the minute, but I, I want to start slowly building up um, to be able to really celebrate her birthday with her. Um, so that is budgeted into my budget. Um, I also made myself a camper van one. I hope you can see that okay. Um, a camper van one. Uh, I've always wanted a camper van, again, for my spontaneous trips that um, wouldn't cost me any money in a hotel. So I'm going to slowly save up for a camper van. Um, and if I, if I don't start now, then I'm never really going to have the money for it. So that's a slow burner, which is long term. And dentist, actually, now that we're here at dentist, I'll put in my dentist tracker. Um, I hope it fits, actually. Yeah, it does. So there we go. My dentist tracker is in there. And while I'm here, let's... Oh, no, we, don't, we haven't got to Christmas yet. Sorry, ignore me. So that's my dentist one in there. And I had this made custom for me. Um, from Girl on Etsy, um, Elo Design, but I think I think that's her name. I can't I can't remember. Sorry if I'm completely wrong, but it says Elo Design there. I thought it was maybe somebody else, but anyway, she custom made this. I my dream is always to be had been to go to America. It's like my bucket list. Um, quite high up on my bucket list, so. I, I like to save the same amount rather than it being like um, 50s and 20s and 30s and stuff like that. So I had this custom made um, and it's all £50 and it totals 2500 So that, that would basically um, pay for the trip and then I would probably do it again for some spending money. Um, I haven't started this one yet. Um, I don't actually know when I'm going to America. Maybe towards the end of next year. So... That'll be a slow burner. But that's that one. And then this is my makeshift Christmas. Uh, what's it called? Front page, whatever they're called, I can't remember. Um, and Christmas just passed. I used this lovely Let It Snow tracker. But this year I'm going to use Christmas funds. And again, this is a uh, long term sinking fund so I'll be putting into it every month and I think the way I worked out I need to work out how many how much one stocking will be but I think my goal was to save I think it was eight hundred pounds and that'll be for um gifts food activities last year I went to London some Christmas markets and stuff which I really love doing I love the whole lead up to Christmas so although I'll maybe only spend maybe four or five hundred pounds on gifts the rest will be for Christmas fun and activities so I'm just going to pop that in there and until I can make a new one of these that's going in there too and then last but not least in this one I have my emergency fund, which is a slow burner. I'm aiming for a thousand pounds. That is from Budget Glow. Um, it's lovely. It's it's a matte lamination. It's really nice. So basically, every month I just put twenty pounds in here. Um, I think it's got one hundred and eighty pounds just now. So that is yeah a slow burner, but it's good to have a little bit of backup money and a tracker just to keep track of that. Okay, so now I have my annuals. Now, um, I I haven't really used this binder yet. I would like to have um, annuals so that I could pay things annually. 
I have my MOT one, which actually I'm going to put that one into the other one. Um, yeah, so I have my MOT one, which to be honest, I'm not really taking this binder very seriously because it's a bit poor. I I do need to change it up a little bit. So I have my MOT one. Um, I just booked and paid for my MOT, so there's no money left in that one. I did make myself this car insurance tracker, um, which is quite cute actually, but I did buy this one from the Luminelle Designs as well. So I think I will, I'll use the one from Luminelle and that one could be a backup. So here's my little makeshift wallet for my car insurance. Again, I'll need to work out how much I want to save. Obviously the prices are going up, which is ridiculous. So yeah, I need to work out how much I need to save and then maybe for my next budget, we could, we could fill that in. So that one in there. Um, my car service, which I don't, I just get um my car serviced like as a homer. I don't actually take it into a garage. So I don't know if I'm actually going to use this wallet or if I'll just keep it all under car maintenance. I'll I'll need to decide that. Um and the only other one that I have in here is beauty insurance, which I made it's not the best, but I made this little tracker for it and this little dashboard. So I, I'm a beauty therapist and I do some clients, so I have to pay insurance every year, which is £60, so that's my little tracker for that, which will just be £5 here and there. I don't think it's due until maybe August or September, but this year um, it was a payment that caught me out. And it had to go probably on my credit card, which I don't want to do. So that's that one. Um, the, there was a couple of other things that I jotted down that I thought would maybe... Oh yeah, there we go, August. So I thought about maybe doing Amazon Prime annually, but again, I'm not too sure. The annuals is just dipping my toe in the water just now. It's, it's not a binder that I'm actually taking extremely seriously apart from saving for car insurance and beauty insurance so that one will make a small appearance sometimes um oh, that one's falling over. then i have my challenges binder i i like doing challenges um there is a lot of pages that do a lot of challenges um i love watching budget with kerry she's always she's got multiple challenge binders <laughs> um, and I love watching her do all her challenges but at the minute I, I'm i okay with just a few challenges so I've been doing some for a little while so again I made this little cute divider I've been doing the penny challenge for about a year it's from Simple Budgets um, it's a very slow burner but I'm determined to finish it, so I'm going to keep going with this one until it's finished. And then I think what I'll do is possibly get the 1 to 100 one after this. I only want to do this once, but yeah, I want to finish it, so I'm going to keep going. And usually what I do is I sort of add up these numbers and condense it so it feels like it's getting somewhere. So I can't remember exactly how much I've got in that, but... Yeah, it's, it's growing slow, but it, it's good. I like it. And then we've got Sudoku Roll. Oh, this one's broken. Which I'm actually doing really well with. Which, this one is for my holiday. Oh, it's coming apart a little bit. This one's to go towards my holiday in April. So it's one of my main focuses. Usually this one, it gets stuffed a little bit from my month, monthly cash, cash stuffing. And then... If I have money left over at the end of the week from either my spending or my food shopping, depending on how much I've got, um, money very often goes into here. But because I need it completed for April, I think I've got a hundred and something pounds left to go. It saves four hundred and five pounds. 
Um, I'm going to need to ramp it up a little bit, but we're doing quite well with it. Um, I've got my, my cash and my little... What's that called again? Oh my God, why is my mind gone back? Um, placeholder, that's what it's called, placeholder. So yeah, that's one of my main focuses. Um, I have been doing this £5,000 savings challenge from the Queen Bee Makes. I love the Queen Bee Makes stuff. It's it's so pretty. I have just under £400 left to save to complete my 5000 This was a goal of mine to pay towards um, a loan that I have. So... I have already paid £3,700 to the loan, so the remaining £1,300 is accumulated with the rest of this and I'll pay that off and that'll be my, my 5k, which I'm so happy that I've been able to do it. So there's some money in here and I've got some placeholders to signify money that is in my sorry you can't see that very well money that's in my monzo pot so yeah i'm very excited to have that one completed and um, the debt won't be completely like the loan won't be completely paid off but it'll be it'll have made a huge huge chunk in it and it'll be paid off very soon um this one i just recently posted on my instagram it's not got any cash in it yet but it is a scratch and save from budget with shan I'm not going to lie, I didn't know how much was under these. My mum had some scratch-offs and she's kept volume one and I took volume two and I don't actually know how much is on them or what they add up to. But I I done a Alexa, not Alexa, sorry, a Siri sort of pick a random number between one and 12 and it came out with 10. So I scratched off number 10, which was £25, which to me personally for challenges is steep i'm not sure when i'm going to put that 25 pounds in there but i will work it into my budget at some point um and get going with that so if anybody actually knows how much scratch and cash volume two from budget with shan actually comes up to please let me know in the comments because um if i know that amount then i could sort of apply it to something else um, and the last couple of small ones here are little freebies that I got that's from Queen Bee Makes. I laminated it and um, rounded the corners. So each bee is worth £5 and it's just a nice little cute one which I, yeah, I wanted to do a couple of small ones. I actually... I actually have this. Oh, you can't see it. This tin for a thousand pounds, so it's all in twenty pounds, and it's one of the tins that you have to burst to get into. So I thought it would be fun to maybe save up one of these, so the card would be worth sixty pounds, and then put the sixty pounds in here and cross off three twenties, and then just put twenties in when I can as well. So that I thought that would be a fun little idea. So I've got that one as a small one, which I'm not sure when I'll start it. And this one, again, was another freebie from Simple Budget Store. I hope you can see it. Okay, sorry, my lighting is really not good in here. Um, So this one saves a total of £50. You've got 20, 5, 10, 10, 5. So £50, which again, I thought um, it's nice for a little treat or a little extra to boost something up or even into my tin. And on this side, each piece you colour in is worth £1, so it saves a total of £53. So, yeah, I laminated that so that I could reuse it. And I also have this rainy day fund, which I like the idea of rainy day funds. It saves £300, but I'm actually not too sure what. I'd be using it for like obviously it says rainy day but like tell me in the comments what is a rainy day <laughs> is it yeah is it 
what do people use their rainy day for? Because I really don't know. So I haven't started this yet. Um, so that's just at the back, ready to go. And I have this 1 to 24 challenge from Simple Budgets. It saves a total of £300. I have completed this one once. It was good fun. So you save £1 all the way up to £24. And yeah, I've done this once before and used the money to get my eyebrows microbladed because I've been wanting, to, wanting it done for so long. And I just made a little wallet to go with it. And last but not least is my events binder. So it is in chronological order. It goes from Valentine's, then it just goes through birthdays, um, Mother's Day, my anniversary, um, some more birthdays, Father's Day, some birthdays all the way through the year. And then I have um, an other folder just in case I need to use it for anything and then at the back is just my budget gifting goals situation so there's that one and then the only other one that i have is this little resin binder that i played about and made um it's for my weekly cash so in here i have my food money for the month and um, my fuel money goes in here but i actually top my car up monthly so there's this one's usually empty but i like to have it anyway then i have week one week two week three and week four so into these envelopes goes my 20 pound spending a month uh, sorry 20 pound spending a week and 50 pound shopping money a week and i refill my purse on a friday so when it gets to friday i will take it out um this month actually what a child doing instead of putting the 50 pounds shopping money into each of the wallets i left it all in here so when i take my 20 pounds out i'll just pick up some money for food shopping as well and i have a rollover little folder that i made which has 20 60 no 20 40 60 70 pounds in it and there's not usually money in here but if i have money left over that i'm not sure what to do with i will put it in here but this money is actually a small rollover which i kept aside because it's a five week month and i didn't want to get caught out with any fuel or shopping money mishaps so that's all my binders um i'm just gonna go back and pop this one into my car envelope um and yeah i hope you liked my first video um i hope it wasn't too rambly and that the lighting is okay and i i hope to possibly do a video on a friday when i'm going through my purse taking out what's left and restuffing it which it'll just kind of be a a short catch-up video um, but you'll be able to see where I reallocate my leftover money if there is any. Um, and I get paid monthly. So I monthly cash stuff. So I'll probably do a monthly video as well with what I have, where it's going and do my cash stuff and I'll go through all my envelopes again. So yeah, thank you so much for watching my first video. Um, and I will speak to you all soon. Bye.